All right, folks, this is Zerik, and these are my most anticipated games of 2023. And yeah, uh, spoilers, there's actually more than 10. Look, YouTube likes it when you have 10, but look, I, I couldn't I couldn't narrow it down to 10. I got 10, okay? Be sure to let me know in the comments section if you can think of anything that I forgot and whatnot, because maybe there's some real cool game that I'm looking forward to, but I completely forgot. Also, there's some hidden gems in here, probably. Don't just consider this as just another, oh my god, the most obvious choices. There's some ones in here that you probably haven't heard of or you might have forgotten about yourself. And lastly, hey, my budget is super tight this year, okay? So many of these games on the list I will be streaming, but I can't guarantee I'll be streaming them all. Uh, some of the cheaper games, maybe lower down on the list, I might be able to stream, but mostly the games higher on the list are going to be the ones that I can stream. And the ones lower on the list are going to be games I wish I could play, but I probably won't be able to afford until maybe they go on sale in the future, or maybe one of you guys happens to buy it for me or something like that. If one of you guys do happen to buy me one of these games on this list, then it's a guaranteed play because I'm looking forward to all these games here. But don't feel obligated to it. There's always Steam sales, and most of these games are Steam games anyways. And any game that's on the Switch, you never have to get me. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got the Switch games down. With all that out of the way, let's get started. Oh yeah, be sure to like. That's really important nowadays. YouTube keeps fiddling around with the algorithm. Now likes are the most important thing ever. So be sure to hit that like button. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're gonna start out the list right away with a sneaky pick, something you guys might not have heard of. But this, is Vikings on trampolines. Look at look at how weird this game looks. Okay, this game was made by D-Pad Studio, okay? You know who D-Pad Studio is? They're the ones who made Owlboy, baby. That's right, Owlboy. One of my favorite games of 2016, dude. Owlboy was so good. And they've made this new game here called Vikings on trampolines. Look at this thing. Look how silly this game looks. It make creators of Owlboy. They know. They know. <coughs> eh? I don't even know what the game's about, man. Other than Vikings on trampolines. But look. Owlboy was so fun. This game has to be fun. Plus the pixel art. Look at the pixel art, bro. Look how good it looks. Look, look at this. Look at this dude. Look at this. Wait, hold on. Look at this dude right here, right here, right here. It's coming up. This whale guy. Look at this whale, dude. Four player mayhem. I don't even know. Eventually, I will be getting. Look at this dude. <laughs> the pixel art is ridiculous. Look. So, number 14 Vikings on trampolines. All right. Next pick Wild Hearts. You guys might have heard of this game, huh? I got a lot of Monster Hunter lovers in my uh, on my subscriptions here, so you guys might have heard of this. Look at this. It's Koei Tecmo's take on a Monster Hunter style game. Look how crazy the monsters look. I would love to play this. It's pretty low on my list though, because it's a minimum a $70 game. You guys know how I feel about games like that. So this is a game I'll probably end up passing on until it goes on a really steep sale a few years from now or, you know, something else happens. I don't know. I just, boy, $70, they say, huh? It looks good, though. It looks really good. So that is Wild Hearts, as you can see. Game number 12 is up next. And the next game is Grand Blue Relinked. I've never played a Grand Blue game. Look, th this game doesn't seem to be on Steam yet. It looks pretty neat, though. This game looks pretty freaking neat. It looks really nice, man. Let's uh, advance here so you can see some of the game play could lay here. I I definitely want to try this game out, man. I definitely want to try this out. And uh, I don't know when it's coming out, though. I've heard so many different things about this game's release date and release time. And there's all these alpha tests and beta tests they're constantly doing. I don't know. I just know the game looks cool as crap. And I'd love to try it. 
one day. We'll see what happens. Excuse me. Look at this. Look how nice all this stuff looks. Come on, boom arm. Boom arm's messing up again. Let's scooch up a little bit here for this boom arm. Boom arm's messing up again. So, what game was that? What number was that? 14, 13. That was number 12. Number 12. All right. Let's take a look at number 11. Oh, wait, look, dragons. Gotta love dragons. Heck yeah, bro. All right. Number 11. Fatal Frame. I've never played a Fatal Frame game. Look at this. It's coming out later on this year. It's like a remake of one. So it's probably one of the good ones since they're remaking it. I've never played a Fatal Frame game. Maybe this will be my first. Really low on my list, though. Like I said, it's going to have to be on a really big sale because, oh boy, this is the remake, you know? Oh, you see the little hands? So, yeah. We're going to give this a try eventually. Probably. We'll see. Oh, wait. Since the game will be releasing on the Switch as well, we'll probably very likely give it a try. Anyways, now we're into the top 10 list, and the number 10 is... Hogwarts Legacy, another game that I would love to try, but I probably won't be able to play. Look at this. The Steam doesn't even have any videos yet. They don't even care about advertising, bro. They don't even care because they know they're going to sell crap tons of copies of this game. This game is going to be wildly popular. This is a website. See, we can get a video here. With a unique ability to manipulate Look at this. Look how beautiful magic. this looks. Hidden I'm not the biggest Hogwarts love. fan. I've only seen, or, or, or Harry Potter, I've only seen the first two movies. Magic, and who is I've never even seen it. them all. But this game still looks pretty Set epic, man. Look at this. Kind, as you may be the one that decides the fate of the, the, the world Blade was pretty cool, physical. right? The little wizarding when school you world. You get to create your own student, you hang around. Do all this fancy pants stuff. I definitely want to give it a try, and maybe you one day it'll go on sale, because it's really low on my list, number 10. So, we'll get to it one day, hopefully. But all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Hmm, he doesn't look happy. Are you not telling me? But perhaps you shouldn't involve yourself with that just yet. Let's go. Yeah, look how cool it looks, man. It looks neat as heck. Combat is crazy, weird, and look at the, all the flowiness. Who particularly and... adept at spell casting will find many ways to exploit their enemy's weakness. You guys know what this is. You guys have seen the trailers. Very interesting. So that's Hogwarts Legacy, number 10. And number 9 on my list... Pikmin. This is one we're definitely going to be able to get because uh, it's on the Switch. <laughs> Pikmin 4. That's right. Pikmin 4. I've had nothing but great things about Pikmin, but yet I've never been able to play one of the games. And Pikmin 4 looks to be my first, unless I can somehow get my grubby little paws on the other three games before then. We'll see how that goes. But I've heard nothing but great game things about Pikmin. People are so hyped for this game. And, um... I'm going to be able to get it, no problem. <laughs> so, I might as well play it, right? So, I'm really looking forward to this one. Next game. Game number eight. Look at this guy. You guys know me. I like my Yakuza games, and this is like a dragon. They're calling it like a dragon. It's set in the past. Look how crazy this looks. It's like a Yakuza in the past. Look at this guy. We know who the, we know who this guy is. We've seen him before. <laughs> Yo, dude, seriously, look at this. I I, I am really looking forward to this. Like a dragon. This is where it starts to get iffy, though. Will I be able to buy this game? Will I not be able to buy this game? We're getting eventually one day on sale, but this guy, this game might be on Xbox Games Pass. 
And if this is on Games Pass, then I'll definitely be able to play it. We'll see. We will see. But actually, it was a little bit before that. Hardworks, um, like, see, Hardworks Legacy, I probably won't be able to buy that. But now we're getting to the point where there's a mate, we're on the list of maybes. Maybe I'll be able to afford it. And th this is definitely up there specifically because it's going to be on Games Pass, too. So, yeah. And eventually it'll go on sale, right? Heck yeah, dude. The Yakuza series is really cool, and I'm really looking forward to this game that comes out later this year. February 21st. Is That's so close. Anyways, next game. And game number seven is... Stalker 2. I've never played a Stalker game. I've always wanted to play a Stalker game, dude. And here's finally my chance, dude. It's going to be out near the end of the year, so this is much higher on the possibility of me being able to get it. To tap into. I'll finally be able to play my first Stalker game. I heard it's like Fallout 4, but like better. So I, I guess I guess we'll see, right? Basically, think Fallout 4, but more serious, set and set in Russia. So, yeah, Stalker 2 later on this year, December. Let's hope. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. All right, game number six. Where did I say the last game was? I don't remember, but game number six is one of those sneaky ones, and it is rain code hey you guys know i've been playing i've recently been playing uh what you might call it the the danga rampa series and this game is made by the same people a dark fantasy is corporate control and i have a feeling that some of the danga rampa stuff is actually going to break into this Those world and i'm even going to make a video about it who come from all because the world. one of these characters it shows I think is actually from the Don Karamba series. I've cracked the code. I've cracked the rain code, and I'm going to make a video about it in the future, guys. Meet Yuma, an amnesiac detective, <laughs> and Shinigami, wow. the spirit haunting him. Looking for it. Anyways, into these now for number five, Fire Emblem. Look, I can get this crappy website, Nintendo. We got Fire Emblem. Look at this. So we'll be playing this one. Oh, show! Because it's a Nintendo game. So, yeah. Well, we can't even play these things. Oh, there we go. That one loads. We're going to be playing some Fire Emblem Engage. In just like five days or so, man. <laughs> Looking for I got to admit that this game is probably higher on my list than it normally would be just because it's so close and I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait. This is what I can easily get a hold of. So, heck yeah, baby, we gonna play it. We gonna play it. And number four, number four, what's number four gonna be? What is it gonna be? Uh, it's Power World. <laughs> it's Power World, dude. Who wouldn't wanna play Power World, man? <laughs> we got Pokemon. Pokemon with guns. Look at this. Look at these Pokemon. Look at these Pokemon. They so cute. Oh, they so cute. Look at these Pokemon. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with that Pokemon? You look kind of ditzy. Look, they even got the female girly plants. They got. They just got. Look. Oh, oh, look at the. Oh, it's dead. It's dead. <laughs> Look how silly this game looks, dude. <laughs> and you're like, wait a second, why you got a gun? Because you got to fight the poachers, man. There's poachers in the game, too. <gasps> Look, they're still in the poor little Pokemon. <laughs> no! We must free them. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Are you serious? You you know we gotta play this. Look at it. Look at this. Look at the bad guys. You know we gotta play you know we have to play this, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the description of some of the stuff in this game. Look at this description. 
The world is full of dangers such as food shortages, harsh weather, and illegal poachers. You must prepare, be prepared to do anything if you want to survive. You may need to consume pals sometimes. Oh wait, no, hold on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You ready? You ready? You can make pals fight, breed, help with farming, or work in facilities. You can also sell them off or even slaughter them to eat. However, it is forbidden by law. <laughs> you can eat them. Why? Oh no. Then look, you can make them become your laborers and work in factories for you when they cry and they're sad about, about it. It's so sad. Anyways. Do you want to build a pyramid? You can have a large number of pals work on construction. <laughs> Don't worry. Labor laws won't be applied to pals. Wow, bro, this game. There they are crying as they're working out. They're like fainting. It is essential for automation to let pals do manual work. Build a factory and place pals in it. They will work forever, as long as they're fed until the end of their lifetime. Holy crap! This game is something else. You can breed them and make new pals. I, I... I'm looking, I'm looking for to... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there they are working in the factory. So yeah, that was number four. All right, what's next? Number three is Hollow Knight. Of course, it's Hollow Knight. Why would it be anything other than Hollow Knight? Come on, dude. Come on. I loved Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight Six Silk Song, dude. Adina, I got it. <laughs> Yo, dude. Look how good this looks. Dude, I cannot wait. I'm gonna be destroying these dudes. I'm gonna have to replay Hollow Knight before this comes out too, maybe. Oh man. <laughs> Hollow Knight, dude. game looks crazy just the first game was so good so we'll see what happens with this oh, I, I look at that I, I don't want to look away but we got to move on to the next game we got to move on to the next game okay <laughs> all right so the next game my number two is Replaced, bro, replaced. Come on, dude, look how amazing this game looks. This is just, this is mwah, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss pixel art right here, dude. And it sounds so good. Listen, listen, listen to this. Look at this. Look, look. Sad kitty. No. I'm gonna be a happy kitty when I play this one. Look at this. Look how good this game looks, dude. This is some. This is some chef's kiss pixel art, baby. It don't ever look this good. Oh man, I've talked about this game a lot during my streams. I am really looking forward to this game. Look 
how cool this game looks. I am so looking forward to this. Look, this is the newest trailer that just came out here. This is the second trailer. After the abolishment of nuclear power, old mining complexes were reopened across the Become a donor today. Phoenix Corporation representatives assure the walls were built for our own safety. It looks so good. Sad Candy Studios! Look how pretty it looks! It sounds just as pretty as it looks, too. guys I will be playing this 100% dude <laughs> bro you can see where their inspiration came from man I hope you guys can see why this is my number two. Holy oh, crap. This looks good. This looks real good, guys. It's on my wish list already. This is this is uh this is a web page, so I'm not logged in. Oh man. Yeah. Now it's time. To move on to our number one most anticipated game. You guys know what it is. It's Breath of the Wild. Come on. What? It couldn't be anything else. Come on, man. Breath of the Wild 2, Tears of a Kingdom. Bro. How could it be anything else? How could it be anything else? Minute one, day one, we'll be there playing this. Like, I'm almost more excited for Replace than this. The only thing that keeps this higher is that I haven't played Replace. Replace looks amazing, right? But I played Breath of the Wild. I know what I'm in for. I'm in for more Breath of the Wild, but with more mechanics and a bigger world. I, yes, please. All day long. Every day every year of my life more breath of the wild yes peak zelda baby weird rewind time mechanics and stuff all right man we've got to play this this is this is we'll be there baby I hope you're there with me. Breath of the Wild, Tears of a Kingdom. So to quickly go over my list again, from beginning to end, we got Vikings on Trampolines, Wild Hearts, Grand Blue Fantasy, Relinked, Fatal Frame, Hogwarts Legacy, Pikmin 4, Like a Dragon, Ishin, Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl, Rain Code, Fire Emblem Engage, Pow World, Hollow Knight Silk Song, Replaced, The Legend of Zelda Tears of a Kingdom. And there's games I don't have on this list, obviously. You guys let me know what you like and what you're looking forward to in the comment description below. Not comment description. In the comment section below, please let me know. Because there's a game I might have missed or something, and I want to know. I want to know. And be sure to leave me a like and all that other stuff. So thank you very much for coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this. I hope you guys are looking forward to these games as much as I am. Holy crap. I hope to see you guys there. Look at this. Look at. Look at this.
Look at this. Dude, the, this, this sound design is going to be even better than Breath of the Wild. Because Breath of the Wild's sound was garbo. It was, uh, it was mostly just silent. It was too minimalistic for me. I love, I love, I love a good soundtrack. Listen to this. Like it e elevates everything a good soundtrack. I hope to see you guys there. Have a nice one, everyone. Bye! Look at that! <laughs> Bye, everybody! The Beast! is going to be a good year. Maybe. At least for gaming. Bye!